Hey, thanks for tuning in, YouTubers. This is Daniel Strong with Excel VBA is Fun. Today we're going to dive into an awesome lesson. This is called the On Key Method. Application dot On Key is awesome. Okay, so you know whenever you're recording a macro or you have one, let's hit Alt F8 to go to the macro window here. You know that when you're recording it, a new one, you can, let's see, developer record macro. You can do your custom, you can do a shortcut key like Control E or Control Shift E. Okay, uh, you can do a, a, a keyboard shortcut that can run your whatever you're about to record or whatever you're going to go edit or whatever. You can also do that Alt F8. And uh, let's say we wanted to run test one macro, click edit. Uh, oop, false alarm. Let's see, what was the other? Let's see, oops, sorry. Alt F8. I believe you go to options. There's where you can put your shortcut. Okay, that is okay, but there's a lot of, there's a whole lot of shortcuts that are already built into Excel that if, frankly, if you put in one of those, you might override it. So that's why I like to do some custom, uh, shortcuts using application on key and I like to use ones that are not popularly used like the home key or the page up page down end um, maybe even insert or print screen or whatever though and I use F1 through F12 um, because frankly sometimes you might want to disable those anyways so with application on key you can either a disable a, sh a keyboard shortcut from doing anything uh, B, you can, you know, have it do something else, like run a custom macro. Let's do that. What I'll, I'll show you what I've got going on here, and we'll review this more when we get into, uh, when we get into user forms. But I'm going to show you a quick preview of my user form, playing it manually. Okay, you select whichever person you want to mess with. Let's select Peter and run the report. It runs the report test one. Um, based on who you've got in here and it'll calculate everything and put their name in there and um, what I want to show you is how to make that user form open by me hitting the home key which is just under my scroll lock home key is on your keyboard okay alt f11 let's dive in this is going to be um, I usually put these under this workbook thing here so let's go to this workbook, and we'll go to workbook events. How about workbook open? That way every time you open it, you'll for sure have your keyboard shortcuts automatically plugged in there. You can do this anywhere. You can run a macro and have an on key command to be ready and waiting for the rest of your visit to that workbook. Let's do it in the workbook open. Let's get started. Application dot on key space okay they want the key as the string and then comma and then the procedure I'll give you a heads up these are both going to be in quotations so and also for the home key for some reason they want you to use these little squiggly brackets and you type the word home uh, or if you're using the insert or the end key you do them accordingly <coughs> a lot of times you don't need these little brackets for other ones so you do comma and then um, you put the name of your macro that you're wanting to run. In this case, I think it's called test1. And the capitalization shouldn't matter here. So what we're saying is, <clears throat> application, pay attention. As soon as I hit the key, that is the home button, then I want you to run this procedure. And just to double check, I want to make sure. Yes, it is called test1. So, okay, let's go back to this. Uh, so that'll happen when the workbook opens. Now, I'm going to show you. Don't be surprised if you're hitting the home key, and this is what happens. It does what it normally does. Okay. Um, why? Well, because it's, we've got it on a workbook open event. So we're going to have to either reopen the, the workbook to have this run, or the easy thing is just to click in here and hit F5, and then it just ran it. So now, Excel is finally paying attention. It is doing the on key method. Um, that macro is run, but Excel is paying attention. So check this out. I'm going to hit the home key. Oh, gosh. What am I saying? Uh, okay, if I do hit the home key, it'll do that because 
uh, the user form. We were going to activate the user form, not run that macro. I'm sorry. Let's make our own macro here really quick called sub, let's call it open form. And we can call it anything we want. The macro is going to be, um, all we have to say is user form one dot show. That's our user form and we want it to show up. Okay, here's the user form name. So, let me copy and paste this open form. We want to run the macro called open form as soon as I hit the on uh, the home button. So let's run this macro again, make sure it works. If I hit the home key, there's our user form. Let's click on Bob. Let's click on Sally. Where's Sally? S A. There we are. Tab run report. Okay. So that's how we do the on key method. So we'll we'll do more on that later. Thanks for watching.